Breaking my fast, 21 days, water only. I'm gonna have to eat watermelon for about a week. So uh, being that I haven't eaten nothing in like almost a month, uh, this is gonna taste like uh, heaven, a little piece of heaven. All right, so here we go. Super sweet. Wow. Wow. That's weird. Definitely euphoric. Never really realized how sweet watermelon is. All right. Hey, what's up, world? This is Alicia, Alicia Way. Just wanted to basically speak with you very briefly, not long at all. Want to talk about my experience doing my all water only fast. I did a fast. Basically, I completed today. 21 days water only you know a lot of people were telling me to put honey in my water and lemon in my water and drink teas and whatnot and honestly i didn't want to do none of that because um, I, I just wanted the full effect of the the whole fast doing it 21 days water only no juice no food nothing at all so you know i feel compelled to do this video because when i started the fast i didn't know a whole lot about water fasting i knew some but I will say if it wasn't for the 15, 20, or 25, maybe 30 videos on YouTube that uh, other people had posted their testimonies and their journey and whatnot, if it wasn't for those videos that I could look at every day, because I looked at most of them every day, uh, I probably wouldn't have been able to finish the fast because those videos kept me motivated and encouraged to just finish my fast and, and push through. So I wanted to do this video, post it, and just encourage the next person that may be thinking about doing it. My experience was not that bad, believe it or not. Um, I started my water fast uh, and I really didn't plan it out. I just kind of started it so I didn't realize it. Thanksgiving was going to be right in the middle of my fast. Uh, maybe I wouldn't have did that if I really thought about it, but then again, it worked out to be a great thing because every year when I eat Thanksgiving, I always get sick the next day because I eat all this crazy stuff and too much of it. So I fast through uh, Thanksgiving. I started my fast. Uh, November 8th and I ended it today November 29th um, like I said it wasn't that bad because I don't know maybe it's because I don't eat you know meat um, I haven't ate eaten meat in over 10 years I've always been kind of vegetarian um, and I've never drank alcohol or used drugs or things like that substance abuse I've never really been that person so I know a lot of other testimonies you know people who have those backgrounds they really have a really harsh detox my detox wasn't bad at all, to be honest with you. Uh, day one through five was okay. Of course, as normal, hunger pains, whatever. But after about day five, I really didn't get any hunger pains. I kind of transitioned, I guess, more into a more deeper ketosis state, a more deeper uh, state of, you know, fasting. And I really didn't have any hunger pains. Sorry about that, just walked in. But um, back on track. So yeah, documented day six and seven were probably the two worst days of the fast only because I had this extreme body ache. Not necessarily so much the head, but you know, it was my entire body just ate for day six and seven. And all I can remember is just wanting to be in the bed and just balling up, which I couldn't because I, you know, I work in sales. One of my businesses is insurance. So I work in sales and I'm always in the field going to clients' houses and things like that. So I necessarily couldn't be in bed, but I just remember trying to get home after my appointment, all my appointments that day, soon as possible, just to curl up in bed, you know what I'm saying, and just go to, go to bed, you know? So I did day six and seven. Day eight was like a new day, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if something kicked in, but it was like a new day. I didn't have any more body aches. Um, really didn't have any trouble on my fast until about day 15. I documented on day 15 that uh, I started feeling lower back pains 
Um, I was like, mm, what is that? So uh, I did go on YouTube and they say sometimes when you're fasting, if you start feeling certain pains in certain areas, that means that, you know, that's your pop, the part of your body that's being detoxed or cleaned out. So they say a lot of times lower back pain can be associated with like your kidneys. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's a good thing. My, maybe my kidneys are being detoxed and cleaned out right now. So I just kind of pushed through. I kind of felt that pain day 15, day 16. Um, and then around day uh, 18, 19, and 20, like ending my fast, I started getting like chest pains. And I just remember like in the bed that night, those days, just praying, God, Lord, don't let me have a heart attack. Don't let me have a heart attack. And I just kind of associated back with that reason that maybe I'm having, I had some chest issues as being detoxed or whatever. I just tried to make some sense of it. It wasn't nothing too crazy. You know, it just uh, discomfort that I was feeling in my chest. Uh, so now today, day 21, I broke my fast earlier and uh, with watermelon, I can only really have one piece. And that really filled me up. It was super sweet. And honestly, when I took a bite of it, I kind of got a little woozy. So I had to sit down. Um, and yeah, I had, had one piece. That was about an hour ago. So the reason I even started the fast initially was for main two reasons. For mental focus. Um, because I just had this fogginess. Not so much necessarily depression. Only depression, I think, was a small part of it as well. I kind of got in a little funk. Also, I, I just wanted to basically... Uh, to cleanse my body of all bad eating habits because to be honest with you I, I if I be real with myself I was sorry about that wife walked in the door <laughs> anyways uh, so like I was saying uh, I was very addicted to eating uh, like I said uh, being that in America we're kind of trained that uh, eating is more social and emotional than it is you know nutritional so we can kind of get caught into this thing of eating at the wrong times, eating the wrong things for the wrong reasons. And I kind of fell into that. Um, so even though I've been vegetarian for over 10 years now, uh, I love veggie pizza. Oh my Lord. I love like veggie subs and, and just all the bready, starchy foods, potatoes and stuff like that. And not even realizing that I began to pack, pack those things on, man. And, you know, I got up to like 2.30, 2.32 and um just very uncomfortable in my own skin laying down you know my wife said i'm snoring every night sleep apnea uh just like i said immense fogginess on the brain and um you know on this fast i pretty much you know i feel like i've cured a lot of that i don't snore anymore i'm a lot more precise with my thinking I'm direct you know when i speak to people it's not i'm not all over the place you know and and I, I would recommend, you know, anybody, you know, if you can, if you don't have any medical conditions or if you're not on a bunch of medicines and stuff like that, I would recommend a fast for anybody, you know, start with three days, go to, go to, go to five days and then 10 days and 15 and 20, you know, I was graced and blessed to be able to just out the gate, do 21 days, but a lot of people can't do that. But even intermittent fasting, you know, skip a meal, you know, skip a, skip a day. You know, if you just build that tolerance up to just train yourself to eat, you know, when you need to eat and not eat when the food say eat or when your friends say eat or when you go out or when you're sad or when you're happy, you know, uh, just we got to get out of making food an emotional thing, you know, a social thing, things like that. So some of the side effects that I probably experienced on my detox that I want to talk about real quick is um, my urine was always super yellow. That was annoying. No matter how much water I drunk, you know, my urine was always super yellow. So that's definitely a sign that you're releasing toxins out your body. Of course, cotton mouth. I never gave myself a chance to have the whole white tongue thing because I don't play that. So I, I stayed in my mouth, brushing my teeth, you know, I stayed rinsing my mouth out. Um, and uh, but you still just have a stream dry mouth and whatnot. Let's see, my skin cleared up a lot on this fast. Um, you know, I just noticed that uh, I, I don't need to sleep as much because I, I had like a, a chronic fatigue situation going on where I just seemed like I was always tired. Um, I believe fasting just kind of not only reset my eating habits, but it also reset my sleeping habits because now I'm in the bed no later than 10 and I'm up by four or five and I'm wired, I'm, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good thing right there because that's, a better you know sleeping pattern to have uh, so I just wanted to end this by saying you know stay encouraged anybody who's thinking about it I know a lot of people say you'll die like I was at work and one of my co-workers was like man you probably messed up your insides doing that and, and you're gonna die and just saying these horrible things 
you know, and, and I kind of understand where he's coming from because in America, we, we have this skewed way of thinking about nutrition and, and dieting and, and eating healthy and fasting and things like that. We just don't really know what we're, we're doing or talking about in America. So, you know, I will say if you're healthy, you're not going to die. You know what I'm saying? Consult your physician, of course, before you do any kind of long elongated fast. But, you know, for the most part, if you're healthy like I was, I had so much body fat. I'll show my before and after pictures. I had so much body fat along like my man breast area. I love handles that it's amazing just watching my body eat that fat away every day. Eat that fat away. I, I lost a good on this on this uh, fast. And it wasn't solely for, for weight loss, but that was a part of it. Um, I lost 35 pounds in 21 days, you know, and I, every day I lost about two to three pounds every day, two to three pounds. And it's just, it, it feels great to just see yourself getting smaller. I went from a size 38 pants to a size 32, you know, and you know, I, had, I, got, I got to go buy all new clothes now. You know what I'm saying? So just wanted to encourage you out there. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you can leave them. I'll answer as much as I can because I probably didn't answer a lot of questions in this video. Uh, but just be encouraged. Try fasting. You know, I believe back, like I've seen some videos, I believe that the human body, maybe we're not even supposed to be eating every day. Like I seen one video that said they did a lot of hunting and gathering one day and then they would eat the next day, hunting and gathering one day, eat the next day. So back then they didn't even eat every day. It was more like every other day, you know, something like that. So I don't know how true that is, but it makes sense. Um, so definitely I do notice, you know, I had an extreme amount of energy on this fast considering i was not eating at all i mean i was wired a lot of days it wasn't until the evening when i started to slow down and really like want to get in bed for the most part so yeah just want to uh say that and uh, leave this video and i love y'all man thanks for the encouragement to my family and my friends who kept me motivated to do this now i have to hit the gym because you can't work out on the fast now i got to hit the gym and get off my loose skin a little bit you know toned up and I'm ready for that. But uh, other than that, man, I love y'all. Drop any questions in the comments. I'll try to answer all of them. And y'all be good. Peace.